guys welcome to this week's episode of beauty fridays so guys in today's video i will be sharing with you my brow routine so if you have sparse brows if you need to fill them in pluck them shave them carve them out draw them paint them whatever all the things then this video is for you i'm going to show you step by step what i do the products that i use my favorite products and all the things so if you're interested in knowing how I achieve my brows, then please continue to watch. Okay guys, so we're super up close and personal. I'm gonna show you all the products that I use to achieve my brows in the order that I use them in. I don't use all of them, but I wanna show you my favorite ones and in the order that I would be using them in and what I use them for and what have you. But before we get into the brows, do you see how my face is glowing? Do you see this skin? This skin is skinning. Do you know why? I have no moisturizer on my face, no sunscreen. Well, I'm in the house, so I wouldn't be wearing sunscreen today anyway. No serum, no nothing. Do you know what I have on my face? I'm using the Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner. When I tell you I will fight people over this, I will tussle over this because this right here is the truth just cleansed skin with the toner okay it's just it speaks for itself y'all already see it okay so guys if you're the kind of person who has a full brow and you get like some microblading or just a little touch up here and there with some color or a little pencil and you keep it pushing i'm jealous okay i'm jealous <laughs> no not really <laughs> because i do love my brows these are my natural brows as you can see i have nothing on my brows so i arch them myself i shape them myself and people always say your brows aren't twins they're sisters i try to make them as much as twins as i possibly can so i use a tweezer this is a revlon tweezer but i love this tweezer guys because it's kind of angled as you can see, it has like an angled tip. That just makes it easier for me to actually pluck the brows. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually gets there and plucks the brows. And whatever I can't pluck, I use a razor. This is just a regular shaver. You can get this at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Target. I got this from Sephora, but you can get these anywhere. I love these. You can shave your face with them or your brows, okay? So the next step is actually to lay the brows down. So I take a spoolie. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And guys, everything that I'm gonna be speaking about in today's video is going to be linked in the description box and also in the comment section for you. So this is my absolute favorite brow pencil. Guys, I think I've tried the majority of brow pencils out there on the market. If there's a product that comes out and it says it's the best brow product ever, I'm gonna try it and I've been successful with this one. This is my favorite one. I've used Anastasia Beverly Hills, and that one was cool, but I feel like this one has a more creamy and waxy texture. This is color number five. It has a spoolie on the end. So I take the spoolie and just comb through the brows. Just comb them up how they should go. And then I use the Benefits Fluff Up Brow Wax. So I don't always do this step. I don't have to, but if I want like a perfect slayed brow, then I'm going to use this. So I'm going to be looking in the mirror too, y'all, because this like, we, <laughs> we ain't about to mess the brows up, okay? But yeah, so just comb through the brows. And I'm gonna try to take my time because I do this very quickly because I've been doing this literally for years. So let me try to take my time so y'all can follow. So I just comb it up and it just takes a couple of seconds to dry. And however you have the hairs, that's how it's gonna dry. So you just wanna make sure that they're going all in the right direction. So now this brow. See, I got a little bit of hair. Y'all see that little hair? It's not a lot, it's a little bit. It's not completely bald, but you know, who's going out like this? Unless it's a no makeup makeup day, then like who cares? Not even no makeup makeup, just like no makeup. Then, you know, it is what it is. But if I'm putting on a little face, 
whether it's a no makeup makeup look or a full beat trust me i'm doing my brows and this is the brows for a full beat okay so they're feeling a little tacky you just want to make sure they're dry so when you go to draw them on <laughs> and fill them in they're not going to move so they feel pretty tacky so i take my pencil twist it up just a little bit and then i start from the bottom of the brow right here i actually kind of go out a little bit more y'all i've seen brow tutorials where they're using rulers and measuring I I ain't doing all that, okay? You look at your face and you see where you want your brow to start. You can start wherever you wanna start. For me, this is like the natural stopping point for my brow or where it starts. I like to go just a little bit out just to make it a little bit more exaggerated. But other than that, like I'm staying within this vicinity right here and I actually draw the tail a little bit longer somewhere around here. So I start from the bottom, go up to the arch and come down. I got to tell y'all because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk while I'm actually doing it. So we about to see. So start here. Just underneath, go up to the top. And then I just carry it all the way down. And that's it. So I'm gonna fill in all of that because I want my brows to be a little bit fuller. And then we go to the top. So on the top of the brow, I just follow the line. Like I just follow my hairs. I don't go above it because I don't want the brow that big. But if you want your brow a little fuller, then you know, by all means. So there we have it, that's the shape. So now I'm gonna do the other eye. And I pretty much stop the tail right where my eye meet, like somewhere here. And if I feel like it's too long, I'll take the concealer brush and shorten it. But for the most part, it's never really that much longer. So I can either fill them in with this or I can use my benefits goof proof brow pencil so if you're in a rush i feel like this is quicker because you can just color it in very lightly and this is in the shade number five as well but i go with a very light hand even though it's dark brown because we're gonna perfect it and do some hair like strokes with another product so that's it I don't fill them in too dark because I don't want the brows super harsh, but I fill them in enough where you're not seeing much skin, but I like to leave a little bit of skin so it just looks like, you know, more natural. And then in the front part, I don't really mess with it at all. At the end, you're gonna see what I do, but I'm very careful when it comes to the front because that front, <laughs> And when I say the front, I mean this part of your brows right here, if it's too pronounced or too stark, it can look crazy. So I just go back over it and just comb it through. Now, if I was doing like a no makeup makeup day, I can pretty much go out like this and you know kind of be done but i told you guys we're doing full-on glam today so the eyebrows are going to be beat so now we're going to fill in the sparse areas with my brow pen by nyx and this is the lift and snatched i think it's called yes lift and snatched brow tint pen very affordable guys i believe this is less than ten dollars or maybe like 9.99 it lasts for a really long time. I have two colors. I have brunette and I have espresso. Sometimes I use both. Sometimes I use one or the other. It doesn't matter. I just love having both of them just for the option. This is espresso. So this is the deeper one. And so what I do, let me show y'all the tip. You see how fine it is? Super fine tip. What I do is just create hair-like strokes and just draw them on. Like I just flick them up. <laughs> 
So I start from the bottom and just flick. So here's the thing with espresso, I like to use it after my makeup is done because sometimes the powder and the creams can get in my brows. So I'll need something a little darker, but as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, you see how sharp that is? I mean, it's not super sharp, but it's sharper than I would like it to be, you know, for this video. So we about to use brunette, okay? So we're just gonna flick. And with the brunette, my hand doesn't have to be as light because this is literally like a light, not light brown, but like a, it's not super dark, but it's just like a brown color. And so what I like to do, because your brows don't grow like perfect, so I like to flick some off to the side, like so. And I don't draw the lines too close. And definitely get up under. And then you can go on the top. But I mainly like to concentrate it here on the bottom. So as you can see, super light, very, very light strokes. And then I like to start from the top, like where that top line is, and draw some hairs down, just so you don't see a super sharp line. That's it. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Just draw hairs like all over the place very fine hairs i feel like this is kind of like foolproof and then come from the top you just have to have patience and a steady hand so after that's done then i take the spoolie again and just kind of just like brush it in comb it in just to make the lines a little softer. Okay, so basically that's the brow, but the pièce de résistance is carving them out with concealer, my favorite part. So this is by NARS and this is the color Walnut. And I just use a Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M40, M432 brush. It's just like a flat brush. And I just go in like this. Actually do both sides because I'm going to need both sides. And then you just carve underneath. Just clean it up. You don't have to put too much concealer. You just want to put enough. And it's definitely going to be buffed out after. So it's not going to be so harsh. So I do the line under and then I just bring it down. And then I do the same to the other eye. and then pull it down. Now, some people use foundation or a different color concealer on the top of their brow. I don't because I'm not using that much concealer. So I just use the same concealer, but I don't put too much. Because remember, you're gonna put foundation over this. Just down and actually the concealer helps to clean up the line. Like if your line is too wide, because I like a super fine, precise, unrealistic tip. Like nobody's tip is gonna be this straight, but I just like to define the tip and just carve it out with the concealer just to give it that super sharp, like, listen, this is knife sharp right here. And this is when, if it's too long, you can actually shorten it and just perfect the tip. 
So then we're gonna use this Morphe M173 brush, super thick and fluffy and dense. It's a concealer brush. I start from the top and I actually just pull my skin just so it, you know, it just blends better when I do that. So you're just gonna blend it out. And then just take whatever is left over and just get in between. And I also like to just stamp it here just to give the illusion of some gradient. I told you guys before, I'm very much a stickler like when it comes to here on my brows because I just don't want it to look sharp whatsoever. So sometimes when you do the concealer, the line like the tip can get a little bit dull. So I just go over it with the brow pen and it just gives a super sharp and precise line if it doesn't you can just clean it up just clean it up boom boom So I'm pretty much done guys. I'm just gonna, like you're gonna look at your brows and you're gonna see like where you can fill in or what needs a little bit more pen or pencil or whatever. And just work it in where you see fit. It's never gonna be like a one size fits all. It's never the same. Like every day I do my brows, it's always something different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's basically the same premise, but it's never like, it just never works out the same, even though I do the same technique all the time. It just is what it is. Sometimes you gotta go back and forth. Sometimes you don't. Now, if you're gonna put makeup on your face, you don't have to be so precise with the blending, especially up top because your foundation is gonna go up there and you're gonna blend and you're gonna go back into your brows again. But let's just say you wanted to leave the house or do like a no makeup makeup look, then this is the kind of look that, you know, could go for a no makeup makeup. Just make sure the concealer is blended because you want it to be highlighted definitely under your brow bone, but you don't want it to look like concealer brows you know what i'm saying do you remember what year was that child 2010 or maybe like 2014 or 2012 i'm not sure but brows on fleek do y'all remember that brows on fleek honey those were the instagram brows and i still do my brows like that as you can see but just not as harsh i never did my brows super harsh but it's basically the same technique as the instagram brows on fleek brows but this is just what works for my face. So that is it, guys. This is how I achieve my brows. Leave it in the comments below and let me know, do you have brows? <laughs> do you have to draw yours in? Let's talk about the brows. And um, if you have any questions, leave them below and I will answer. Don't forget all the products that I use today will be linked in the description box below. So let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember guys to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. 
AI the Great signing out. But I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, you see them brows? <laughs>